Hi, my name is Sadari P.T. Brown. I'm here to talk to you about our youth. Today, many of our, of our youth today don't have a, a self-worth to them. They wonder, why don't I have this? Why can't I be like that person? Why can't I be rich? Why can't I have the new iPhone, the new iPad? Why can't I have this and that? The reality is, our youth today needs more from us as adults, as mentors, as prevention providers, as leaders. They need more from us. And the reason why they ask themselves, why don't they have this, why don't they have that? Because it starts in the home. Parents are not teaching their kids to have self-worth about themselves. When God created each one of us, he put in us a different mechanism than the next person. That mechanism is called your you. So if you're you and I'm me, then why can't you appreciate you the way I appreciate me? And that all begins with we all want to be appreciated by everyone else. When the reality is the appreciation we need to get from others starts with us. If you can't learn to appreciate yourself, how can someone else appreciate you? So my message today is simply to tell our youth out there it's to don't give up hope in yourself. Dream the unthinkable, but that dream begins with you. It doesn't, it doesn't begin with anybody else. Realize that the things you don't have today does not determine how your future will go. Trust me, I'm the six out of seven children. You call me down, you call me the hand-me-down king. So many of my clothes been hand-me-down, hand-me-down, hand-me-down. But I never, never doubted my own abilities. Because I knew if I worked hard, if I put in the time, if I studied hard, if I did this, that, and the other, then I can rewrite my own future. Where I came from, where the streets of the east side of Detroit, if you rode through my neighborhood, you probably would think the war in Afghanistan and Iraq hit my own home, my own neighborhood. However, where I sit today, I sit on the riverfront of Detroit. I, where I sit today, I serve in the United States National Guard, in the Michigan Army National Guard under the United States Army. I serve proudly and I'm honored to do that. But I would not have had those, those chances if I let my past determine my future. If I had let one second of my present determine where I was going to go, I would not be sitting here today. So my message is simple. I didn't have no iPhone, no iPad. I didn't have the latest video games. I didn't have a name brand clothes. I had none of that. But it never made me feel less than a person. It never made me feel like I was less than the next person sitting next to me. Because I knew that I could have anything that they had. And when I did get it, it would be better because I would work hard for it. I never expected my parents to give me this and to give me that. My parents provided the best for me, the best they could. I know it's a struggle out there. It's a struggle. But we need to teach our youth to appreciate the things they have. And if they want more for the future, they have to work hard for it. Hard work is the key to success. And trust me, you will not become rich overnight. You will not become this. You will not become very successful simply by having stuff handed to you. But you can become successful with hard work. And success to you is not success to someone else. Money doesn't mean you're successful. Having the richest, having the most expensive clothes and outfits and gadgets don't make you successful. Success is what you determine it is in terms of what are you doing to help make mankind better. But the first thing you can do to make mankind better is by appreciating yourself. Once you appreciate yourself, you can appreciate everyone else and you can appreciate this earth more. My name is Hadari P.T. Brown and this is my perspective.